Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I'm going to be doing some flowers and possibly blowing out some paint, possibly some balloon kisses or um, um, other things with the balloon. I'm just not sure yet. We're just going to take it as it goes here. So let's go over my paints. I have a base coat today. It's a combination of Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents White Pearl, Artist Love Flow Acrylic White, and um, I did use um, a very light yellow color with that, and I will show you that. That is my uh, base coat, and it was the Blick, Blick Primary Yellow on that. And the balance of my paints are Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I have a combination of Artist Loft Metallic Black and Golden Turquoise Phalo. That's a very pretty color. I have a combination of Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash and Folk Art Pure Viridan. Just a combination of those. I have Amsterdam Deep Gold and Golden Iridescent Gold Fine. Combination of those. I have Deco Art Metallics Crystal Green. I have Modern Masters Metallics Green Apple. I have Modern Masters Metallics Venetian Blue. Very pretty color. I have a combination of uh, Pebio Dyna number 357 and Folk Art Extreme Glitter in blue. My next paint is, oh, I, that's it. I believe that's it. Okay. So what I have is some little cups that um, I have holes put in the bottom and I'm just going to lay these on my painting. And I'm going to do three of them. So let's go about like this. Maybe come in a little bit like that. And then I'm just going to um, pour the paints in here and see what we get. Oh, let's go over my pouring medium here quick. My pouring medium today is three parts Floetrol, three parts Minwax Polycrylic, two parts of a glue mixture, that is three parts glue, one part um, water, and I did not use any silicone today. And it's about pouring medium to paint is about two parts pouring medium to one part paint. No silicone used today, and that's about it. And I can show you consistency. Just leaves a little trace. Tried to put it a little bit on the thinner side today so it would run a little better here. And next I'll use this green apple. And I can switch it up on my flowers too, so they don't look exactly the same. This Venetian blue is very, very pretty from Modern Masters. I'm pretty happy with the Modern Masters paints, by the way. This is that Pebio combination with the glitter paint. And this is the very dark paint, the one with the metallic black. 
very pretty. And I am going to add some white. And I have my gold. And I have a lot of my uh, yellow base coat left, so I will add some of that also. And let's see, I will make these a little bit bigger, but not a whole lot. And I think I will end with the white. And possibly just a little drop of the yellow. And then I do want to color, color in the center. So let's go with this dark, dark Venetian blue. Okay, now I'm just going to pull my cups up. See if I can get some of this paint to come out. I guess the center paint did not come out like I wanted, but that's okay. I can work with the centers here. Okay, what I'll do is I'm going to take my skewer and I'm just going to run it around in the centers here. And that's good. Okay, now I think I will uh, torch. And now I'm going to tilt a little bit. See what I get. And if it does get out of camera, I apologize for that. Just trying to tilt them and get them a little bigger. And they don't absolutely have to be centered. Bring it this way.
Okay. I like the looks of those. Maybe just bring it down a little bit this way. Okay. Now what I think I'm going to do is just run some lines of paint through the painting. Again, this is all experimental here. Here's the gold. And the sparkly blue. This is the color shift combination. And this is the black and the turquoise combination. I really like that. And lastly, I will put some white on here. Okay, so I think I will try and blow this out and I'm going to start out using just my little blow dryer just to see how this works, if it's got enough oomph to get it going here. I think I will try my um, bigger blow dryer now and I'll start out on low and cool. I'll try it on high.
take a look at what I have here. And I am going to use my little my little dryer again. Just to give these edges a little more uh, a bumpy effect or not so smooth, I guess, on the edges, more a leafy effect. A petal effect, that's what I want to say. A more petal effect. Okay, Let's see what I have here and what I do and don't like. I think I am going to be using my balloon. Just see what I can do here. Trying some, do some balloon swipes and some rolls and balloon kisses. Just to give it a little bit different effect here. I am wiping my balloon off after every roll. Really do like these colors coming up in this. Very pretty. See what I can do here. Okay, now I'm going to just use my little balloon here. It's a water balloon. Making some little flowers here. can always work with your painting until you're very satisfied with it.
I'm just going around the outside of those flowers. Just creating a little bit different look. And I'm actually transferring some of that paint. I think what it's doing to this flower is very, very pretty. See if I can transfer a little bit more here. This is definitely turning out different than I figured, but I am liking the result, and I hope you are too. So as you can see, where the paint is a little bit thicker, like in this area, you can pick it up and transfer it to a different area on your painting. Okay, I'm going to work up here on this one now a little bit. more balloon rolls here.
liking this. And I will torch it. I'm going to work on this just a second here. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And I'll torch it. And I will get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, I'm back. This is our close-up, and off-camera, I did make a few changes on this, and I will point that out. Here's the upper left-hand corner, and we're just going down here. What I did is I left a little bit more negative space in certain areas, and one of them is right here. Just took some of the um, flowers out and added a little more negative space and in here. And I do like wispies, so I added that. And we're going along the bottom edge here. And I did add a little more negative space here and here. And then this is going up the middle. Very pretty in here. And in here. And then I'll take you over to the upper right-hand corner. And we'll go down the right side. Very happy with this painting. And I am glad I used that light yellow background in it. I did add a little more negative space in here too. And I will show you the whole painting here. And this is the lower more negative space here. This is the lower uh, right-hand corner. So let me know what you think. Try and show you the whole painting here. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know that the next time I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And until next time, Take care, everybody, and thank you for watching. Bye for now.